Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain reflection coefficient of transmission line. Here, I'll be deriving equation of reflection coefficient. First of all, you need to understand what is reflection coefficient. The reflection coefficient explains amount of signal reflected from the load. So here you can observe, we have transmission line that is having characteristic impedance Z0 and at input side, we are connecting supply and at output side we have load. This supply is transmitting signal inside transmission line and here that signal will come to load but based on impedance matching in between Z0 and ZL there will be reflection of signal. So reflection coefficient explains amount of reflection of signal from the load. I'll be deriving that equation. For that you need to take reference of my last few videos in which I have derived voltage and current equation of transmission line. If you have seen this video, in that I have derived voltage equation that is V1 into E to the power minus gamma Z plus V2 into E to the power plus gamma Z. Where V1 into E to the power minus gamma Z that is incident signal inside transmission line and V2 into E to the power plus gamma Z that is reflected signal with transmission line. Similarly, current equation is I is equals to I1 into E to the power minus gamma Z plus I2 into E to the power plus gamma Z where this I1 term that is incident signal and this I2 term that is reflected signal. So using these two equations, I'll be deriving equation of reflection coefficient. So let me take these two equations first. Here, with this voltage equation, this V1 term that belongs to incident signal and this V2 term that belongs to reflected signal while this I1 term that is there with respect to incident signal and I2 term that is there with respect to reflected signal. Now with these two equations, there are few basic things that I'll be noting over here. Those are standard notations. Like if you observe here we have transmission line and here we have load that is ZL. Here length of transmission line let us assume that is L. As if I consider this load is reference so at load Z is equals to 0 you can observe here we have equation in form of Z where Z explains position. So if I consider load as a reference then Z is equals to 0 then at source side as length is L here Z will be minus L. Here this V1 term that belongs to incident signal and this V2 term that belongs to reflected signal. So instead of V1, I'll be writing VI and instead of V2, I'll be writing VR as V2 is reflected signal. Similarly, I1 belongs to incident signal. So I'll be replacing I1 by II and I2 belongs to reflected signal. So I'll be mentioning I2 is equals to IR. Now using these two equations, I'll note down standard notations with respect to load and with respect to source. If you observe, here we have load. At load side, Z is equals to 0. And at load side, we will be having voltage that will be load voltage and load current over here. So let us substitute Z is equals to 0 in these two equations and let us identify VL and IL. So if you substitute Z is equals to 0, we will be having load voltage that is VL that will be VI into E to the power 0 that will be 1 and here also E to the power 0 that will be 1. So VL is equals to VI plus VR and we will be having load current IL that will be II plus IR. Now if you observe source then at supply Z is equals to minus L. So if you substitute Z is equals to minus L then in these two equations we will be having source voltage and source current. So source voltage Vs that will be C Vi into E to the power minus gamma Z is there where Z is equals to minus L so E to the power plus gamma L will be there plus Vr into E to the power minus gamma L will be there with us and 
we will be having source current is that will be i i into e to the power plus gamma l will be there as we substitute z is equals to minus l over here right and this i r into e to the power minus gamma l will be there as well now we have these two equations right and using these two equations we can identify reflection coefficient but before that there are a few standard notations that you need to note down like first of all i'll explain you characteristic impedance by standard notation this characteristic impedance z not that is a impedance of transmission line provided length of the transmission line is infinite so here if you observe we have transmission line where characteristic impedance is z not that z not is a impedance that is measured at input or output provided length of this transmission line is infinite if you want to understand that by proper sign convention then that one can understand based on z not that is input voltage divided by input current or you can say incident voltage divided by incident current and that can be calculated based on reflected voltage divided by reflected current as well but here you need to understand one thing see here there will be negative sign as if you measure it with respect to reflected voltage divided by reflected current right and we need to understand what is reflection coefficient reflection coefficient notation is rho the reflection coefficient rho that can be calculated based on reflected voltage right so if you observe see here we have reflected voltage and here we have incident voltage so reflection coefficient that is a ratio of reflected voltage divided by incident voltage and if you want to measure that with respect to reflected current and incident current then that will be reflected current divided by incident current but here you need to place negative sign this sign conventions are very much essential as and when you derive equations so you need to note down this sign conventions now i'll be deriving reflection coefficient equation so reflection coefficient equation that is based on z not and zl so here we will be identifying zl that is load impedance the load impedance that is simply a ratio of load voltage divided by load current so zl is vl divided by il what is vl over here vi plus vr and what is il over here ii plus ir now i'll simplify this equation so here if you observe we have load impedance zl and here if i take vi common from numerator and if i take ii common from denominator then we will be having vi divided by ii and here in bracket we will be having 1 plus vr divided by vi and in denominator we will be having 1 plus ir divided by ii right now if you observe see vi by ii that is characteristic impedance right vi by ii that is characteristic impedance z not and if you carefully observe vr by vi so vr by vi that is reflection coefficient and ir by ii that is minus of reflection coefficient so let us substitute that over here so we'll be having 1 plus reflection coefficient rho divided by 1 minus reflection coefficient rho now we need to simplify this equation so 1 minus reflection coefficient that i am just cross multiplying over here and we need to simplify this equation further so you see here i'll be taking zl minus z not on this side right and i'll be taking rho common over this side so we'll be having z not plus zl right so based on this we can say reflection coefficient rho that is zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0 this equation is very essential to identify reflection of signal the based on impedance matching one can identify reflection coefficient now see question is what should be my ideal load see here we are applying signal by using this supply so our agenda is to transfer signal from supply to load 
तो वेदर सिग्नल इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफर टू द लोड और नॉट दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन रिफ्लेक्शन कोफिशियंट इफ जेड एल एंड जेड जीरो दैट इज गेटिंग मैच इन दैट केस प्रॉपर सिग्नल इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफर्ड राइट तो हियर सी इफ यू हैव परफेक्ट इम्पिडेंस मैचिंग जेड एल शुड बी इक्वल्स टू जेड जीरो इफ यू हैव परफेक्ट इम्पिडेंस मैचिंग देन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व रो इज इक्वल्स टू जेड एल माइनस जेड जीरो तो यू विल बी हैविंग जीरो इन न्यूमिनेटर डिवाइड बाय टू जेड एल दैट इज रिजल्टिंग इन टू रिफ्लेक्शन कोफिशियंट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो वॉट इट मीन्स दैर इज जीरो रिफ्लेक्शन फ्रॉम द लोड but as and when you have difference in between z0 and zl at that time there will be reflection of signal from the load right so this equation explains you how much impedance matching is there so for proper impedance matching zl and z0 that should get matched even one more thing that you need to understand see here we have supply so to transfer signal from supply inside transmission line impedance of supply and impedance of this transmission line that is characteristic impedance that should get matched as well so reflection coefficient is very essential in transmission line and i hope based on this derivation you can understand how to derive this and this equation that will be using it in solution of problems as well still if anything that you like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video